the World Series of Poker $10,000 main event 2022. That means this will be my 17th attempt at this tournament with one min cash. Let's do better. Two hour levels, five hours of play. That's 10 hours of play, including dinner and breaks. We're gonna be here about 13 hours. Sounds good. Count me in, bag and tag at midnight. It is fitting that this is the first event that I'm on time for. It's special. How's it going, guys? Oh, shit. That's so sad. How did you get this? I oh, you're right. on the receiver. How you doing? Right. Good to see you, man. Too long. All right, you're good. Game on. Let's go. Let's do it. Back you act. The <coughs> fighting a uh, fighting cold there? Or cold? No. Uh, I get morning allergies. Oh, okay. Good to hear. Yeah. <laughs> it's every morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's actually post nasal thread. He's been affectionately referred to as the ruler of roulette, the bambino huh? of blackjack, the king of kachin. Please give it up for Vince, I mean Prince Vaughn. Don't open the deal. Good luck, everybody. Flat ace jack on the button. Win a pot. Up to 65,000. A few hands later, we flat ace deuce of spades versus a 30 year old, possibly European, Caucasian male. Three ways to a flop of jack seven deuce. Two spades. Hello. C bets 700. We call. Other person folds. Rooting for a spade. The turn is not a spade, it is a six offsuit. So when he checks, he's got a lot of give ups here. And if he wants to continue, we still have good equity if we beat, so I bet 1800. He does the unthinkable. He check raises to 6200. What's he repping? Top set. Aces. What kind of line is this? What are his bluffs? Decided it's a clear call regardless of what he's repping. The river is a 10, not a spade. He tanks and bet, bets 12,300. Can't see too many bluffs I could beat other than like king, queen of spades. And he takes it down. The randomization of the draw, the undetermined law, look at that. It's a view right there. About 55,000 on first break from 60,000. Not a big deal. Two hours of actual poker played. Stay focused and find good spots. Our buddy Sales on the left. Blinds at 200, 300, 300, under the gun, new player to the table, lips. Pulls us in the hijack with pocket jacks, two black ones, so we raise it up to 1100. We love raising 
new to the table lippers. Woman on my left who's uh, kind of tilted about the lack of table space and losing half her stack that her very first hand. Three bets me to 2,700. Action folds around to the limper who tanks and puts in the call. What are they repping? Ace queen, ace king, tens. Think about four betting, but it's probably just best to call here. Let's see a three way flop. Flop comes 10, 7, 5. Two clubs, one spade. Check to the razor, and she checks behind quickly. Okay, maybe she has ace king, ace queen. Turns a seven, good card for us. Limper checks, time to bet. I think I have the best hand. 3,300 is the bet. They both call. Maybe I don't have the best hand. River brings a four of clubs. Out of the gun checks. Don't see much value here. We check, and the woman quickly bets 10,000. Under the gun limper, tank calls. Can I overcall with jacks here? I begrudgingly lay it down, giving it a good price. And three better. Woman on my left shows the king six of clubs. A premium. Good river, and we are at 50,000 on second break. Dinner in two hours. We are with my man, Jeff Boski. Now, Boski, you are an experienced veteran, a professional poker player, a vlogger. In fact, so experienced, you know, I see you almost every year here at the World Series of Poker, but you didn't cash last year. Um, you didn't cash the year before that. You. I, I have one min cash in the main event. Thank you very much. $20,000 to the good. Uh, this, when was this? 20 years ago? Uh, 2019. Okay. So, yeah, it took 14 years to break, 15 years to break the streak. One of those. But it felt great. Been able to showcase what it's like to be a professional poker player in Las Vegas. Uh, tournament player, most people, are, most vloggers are cash games, so they, they can make a steady living, unlike a tournament player, which the swings are ridiculous. And I just try to show that and show the reality of it is you usually lose a tournament. So you see me lose, I, I don't, I'm not that bad, it just happens. This year is the year, and all it takes is one, so make sure you come down to the World Series. You could win, it's, it's possible, just not probable. Right. Special guest star, Tommy, you might know him from Odergate at the World Series of Poker. Something stinks. The floor tells him to go buy some deodorant and put on deodorant. He says, I will file a civil claims court lawsuit against you if you disqualify me from this tournament. Congrats on the bracelet. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. How does it feel? It's amazing. Like a million bucks? <laughs> it feels more than a million, but it was only three hundred. Only three hundred thousand yeah. for a six hundred dollar buy. But the bracelet. I didn't even look at the pay jumps when it we went to three hundred. Play to win. I just it. so wanted it. Like, I've been waiting for it quite a bit. Yeah. So yeah, I wish everyone could experience it because it was. That's the goal. Yeah. <laughs> Where the line's at? 200, 400, we're now 10 handed. Good times. World Championship drag car driver opens under the gun to 1300. His friends stop by, said they're big fans of the vlog, and we've been very cordial up until this point. Oasis Ahmed flats in middle position, and I'm on the button with Pocket Kings, that's right, the Cowboys, the King Kongs. Of course, we're gonna put in the three bet here to 5,200. Under the gun started with 40K, I have 50K. Folds back to him, he thinks about it for a while, and assembles a four bet. He's coming in warm, 15,200 to go. 25K behind, flatter folds, and he's back to me. What do you do with pocket kings, 100 blinds deep effective in the main event against an under the gun raise, 10 handed? Is he always four betting queens? Is he always four betting ace king? Or is he flatting these hands? That's the question. 
I take a minute, assess the situation, ask him how much more he has, and he's very, very comfortable. And then I look at him and he looks me in the eye, almost as to say, I got this one, Jeff, just lay it down. I have never folded King's pre-flop, ever. If you got me, you got me, that's life. But this time I say, I'm just beat. He just has pocket aces, maybe kings, probably not, there's only two left in the deck. Most likely pocket aces and we're gonna make a huge fold in the main event. Pocket kings, I say out loud, I fold. And then I turn on the video. Whoa! Fairly happy with my decision overall. Unfortunately, it would have been the rear chop, most likely. And we move on to the next hand. One orbit later, sun running Brazilian on my right who has 160,000 opens to 1,000 at 200, 400. I'm next to act with ace king. If I three bet, am I gonna fold to a four bet? I'm folding kings. That's gonna be a problem. Not against this guy. Make it 3,000 to go. Folds back to him and he puts in the call. He plays very, very hood. Flop comes. Seven, five, three, two diamonds. We have the ace of diamonds. He's gonna have a lot of suited broadways, some mid pairs. When he checks to us, we're gonna continue our story and bet 2,500, rev it in over pair. And he puts in the call. The turn is the nine of diamonds, giving us the backdoor diamond draw. He checks, and he is gonna have more suited hands than us. So we have to be careful not to uh, blast off into a made flush. So I check behind. The river brings the ace of hearts. I got topped up. He tanks as he does in every single decision on every street and puts in a bet of 7,500. What do you do with top top here? On the surface, it feels like an automatic call. This is one of the best hands we're going to have in this situation. So we're going to be bluffed too much if we fold some of our strongest hands. The problem is, what bluffs does he have that calls a three bet, calls the flop on this board run out, and now bets, you know, half pot. There's only one way to find out. I put in the call against other players. I'd probably fold. He's capable of turning some shit into a bluff, maybe pocket sixes or something. The problem is he puts us on an ace when we three bet three and check back the turn a large percentage of the time. So if he knows we have an ace, he wants us to call and we do call and we see the bad news, which is pocket nines. Nice set. And we're now on dinner break with 35,000. Still plenty of chips coming back to, I believe, 500 big blind or 600 big blind. It's a marathon, not a sprint. made dinner break so let's go to Jack Binion Steakhouse again we have reservations party of four with three lovely ladies hello hello ladies the big Val Boski here P's and Q's poker Ebony Kenny and Camille what was that bacon food reviews <laughs> For YouTube, landscape. And we are here with three beautiful ladies. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hey. <laughs> what lines at? 300, 500. There's an early position open to 1300. I'm in the hijack with ace queen offsuit, and we elect to three bet, make it 3500 to go. Action folds around to the initial raiser who puts in the call. We see a flop of king, queen, five, one spade. 
we do not have a spade. When he checks through us, we could bet range or we could check behind second pair. This time we choose to check behind second pair with our showdown value. Not much to protect against. When the turn brings a four of spades, my opponent leads out for 4,000. What's he repping? I don't know, but we're extremely under repped. We cannot fold yet, so we put in the call. The river is the three of spades. Backdoor spades gets there and some crazy six, seven, and ace do straight draws. He bets an amount that makes me not want to call. And you'll be surprised what that amount is. It's 5,700. Was this about 30% of the pot? A value blocker bet, most likely. Would a misdraw type of hand bet this small? I don't think so, Tim. I don't think so, Tim. <laughs> I eventually fold my second pair and he flashes me a king. Good fold. Discipline lay down. And we have about 35,000 chips. Are you a trap star? I've been trapping everybody early on. I was They're trapping myself. Did you blimp aces under the gun? Uh, no, that's too obvious. Oh, okay. that. No, that'll catch on to yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. Just check it to him, let him block. Yeah, yep. I just got to uh, check call, check call, and then just go all in on the river. Oh, looks lead, like a bluff. Lead into him, yeah. Yeah? You're like, oh, I missed. Time to go all in. Yep. It's a good play. Trap that ass. Trap that ass. There you go. And there you have it. Uncle Ron, ladies and gentlemen. Follow him on Instagram. Wow. That hilarious account. There we go. Oh, that's the thumbnail right there. Perfect. <laughs> Aggressive tanking Spanish pro opens. Middle position to 1500 at 300, 600. Last level of the night. And we look down at a pleasant surprise, which is pocket aces. Nothing sweeter than pocket aces 10 handed because it's more likely someone else has a good hand. So you're going to get some action. Unfortunately, the action folds right back to the original Razor. Who puts in the call? They obviously have us covered with about 150,000. They've been running like the sun all day. When the flop comes, ace, jack, seven, two spades. I'm happy to have top set. And we're just looking for some action. He checks to us and I down bet to 3,500. Will he pounce on the weakness? No, he folds and we take down the pot. <laughs> One black chip. All right, name, hometown, a tip count on the bag. I mean, on the slip. I'll take it. On the your bag, all you need is your name. And your CD assignment. And we have bagged 42,300 chips. Bag and tag. Coming back to 800 big blinds, just over 50 big blinds. Uh, what's up, guys? Are we on the blog? Maybe. Maybe it's it out. Dude, you look really comfortable. It's a lazy boy. Yeah. What kind of chair do you rock? Aaron. A very tough table draw with the exception of uh, some non-professionals to my left, but we made the best of it, made some relatively good decisions, and uh, that's all we can do. 10 hours of play, 13 hours at Bally's, day off, and we'll be back Friday, one day at a time. This line hasn't moved for 10 minutes, and we're on floor seven. Will it be over or under one hour before I can leave the parking garage? after my 13 and a half hours at Bally's. Let me know in the comments below.